Hi guys, Mr. Off Waffles here. Call of Duty have just tweeted out a new teaser for DLC 1. Yay! Kill me. Okay, all jokes aside, it's just that I don't have Call of Duty in the forefront of my mind right now. I'm so focused on exams. Today, we're going to be talking about the fact that they've just given us a new teaser for DLC 1. And the caption for this teaser, just to start things off and get your brain a working as to what this could possibly be, is the following. Something evil is lurking in the woods. Hmm. Interesting. So, context. Over the last few days, Lee Ross, the man with a plan, as I've said before, has been tweeting out various little hints and teases towards the name of the DLC 1 Zombies map, the Infinite Warfare Zombies map that's coming out in DLC Pack 1. And it's 17 letters long, it's made up of four words, and we actually have a few letters from those four words, which you can see on the screen right now. Okay, so leave your thoughts in the comments down below. I want to see a comment from absolutely all of you saying what you think these letters are going to end up spelling. What are the four words going to be? It seems like it might be zombies in something or other again, but what exactly is currently a mystery. So leave your thoughts in the comments down below. If anyone gets it bang on, then... I don't know, I'll shout you out in a video or something, maybe, maybe, okay? But anyway, Lee Ross has been teasing us about that over the last few days, and uh, this image, now, that Call of Duty have just tweeted out, that's on the screen right now, is our first look at the actual map pack itself. This is our first visual insight into it. We know the date that it's coming out, because Lee Ross accidentally leaked that. We know a little bit about the Zombies map from Lee's teasers, like I've just said, but this is our first actual visual representation. Now, there are a few things that I want to say which kind of pull or push me towards or away from this being a zombies map image, because this could be a multiplayer map for all we know. So let's dive into the things that we can pull from the image and try and make a decision. First of all, the first thing that stands out to me about this is that it's really rather dark. And generally, okay, on the whole, multiplayer maps that are dark are either badly designed or aren't actually dark, their concept art is just dark, okay? What do I mean by this? Well, I had a conversation with Jason Blundell earlier this year about the way maps are lit. It was a really interesting little chat, and I love having conversations with devs and people that work in the industry about this sort of thing, like technical aspects of maps that as players, we don't ever really necessarily notice, but then you got the game design side and it's like, holy moly, there's a whole world of decisions that have to be made here in order to create a product that really works. And so I was talking with Jason about how maps generally are lit. And we were talking about Zetsubo, for example, and how you've got a lot of light kind of shining through trees and you've kind of got this sort of minty green atmosphere to the map. And there's a slight trace of fog. And then we got to the topic of transit and the fog on that map and how they can, in zombies, kind of play a little bit more with the idea of dark and light. Whereas in multiplayer, you're kind of constrained to always creating maps that have players staying lit up at pretty much all times, because in multiplayer, if there's an area of the map that's just absurdly dark, you're not going to be able to see someone that's camping there, and you're going to feel betrayed by the game if they kill you over and over again just because they're creeping around in the shadows. Like, that's not going to feel good, and so for the most part, in multiplayer maps, the player is not enshrouded in darkness for a large majority of their playtime. So, I look at this teaser image and I go, hmm, it does look fairly dim. And so, is that kind of giving credence to the idea that this is indeed a zombies map image? Possibly, yes. There's also the caption, something evil is lurking in the woods. Now, I don't think you have to be a genius to say, huh, that could be zombies lurking in the woods. They're pretty evil. Wouldn't that be great? So, I guess that's another reason why it could be a zombies map. You've then also got the idea that Willard Weiler, in the story right now, is creating films in various different scenarios for our characters to be actors in, and his next film could be a classic horror-style cabin in the woods, which is exactly what we appear to be seeing here. We're seeing a cabin surrounded by a load of woods which some evil is lurking in, and in my opinion, that sounds like the perfect setting for a DLC 1 Zombies map because it's a cliched horror film genre. So, some fairly good reasons why this could well be a Zombies map, but let's not get too ahead of ourselves just yet because it is worth considering the other side of the argument as well. 
could this be a multiplayer map? Well, yes, I kind of think it could, because if you think about the light and dark argument that I talked about a moment ago, where multiplayer maps tend to be a bit brighter, what can happen, and does happen a fair amount of the time, is that you end up with a concept art image for a map being fairly dark, but then when you get in and you're playing on it, then things are a little bit brighter and it's toned up just a little bit. Things like this happen absolutely all of the time and this is just concept art, this is not a final in-game image and so it may well be that this is just MP. Also, are they gonna start off the teasers for DLC 1, or at least the visual teasers for DLC 1, with the zombies map? Normally they go multiplayer, 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 zombies. That's pretty much always the formula. Why would they change things up this year? I don't know. I don't think they necessarily would, so maybe this is MP. Also, in the past, Infinity Ward have been known to love a little bit of Mike Myers, because obviously it's a bit of a classic with their games, the Mike Myers game mode heralding from the films, but also just the fact that in Ghosts they basically dedicated an entire map to Mike Myers, pretty much. Like, they're clearly pretty damn fond of it, and so this may well be kind of an homage to that sort of thing that they've done in the past. Maybe that's another arguable one where you kind of take the horror genre and you say, well, it could fit for zombies, but it could just as easily be related to the previous MP stuff that they've done. So, in my opinion, this could really go either way. I do want to quickly point out that if we take a little zoom into the middle of the sky here, you've got a load of birds and that's all great, but then what on earth is this thing? Like seriously, this is not a bird, this is some kind of weird demon that's just hanging around. Like, I don't know what the hell's going on there, but there's an extremely malformed creature just fluttering its way through the sky, and uh, I'm a little bit concerned. Just a little bit. So, what do you think? Is this a zombies map? Is it just a multiplayer map? Are we getting excited over nothing? We're not really getting too hyped. I think that things right now are fairly calm. I do think that if it is a zombies map, then holy smokes, that is a big turnaround in direction, going from this kind of preppy 80s, bright lights, neon, kind of jokey, cliched, all of those sorts of things, zombies map, to something that looks a lot more serious, a lot more sort of rugged and gritty and violent. I don't know, it seems like a weird turnaround of sort of angle and vibe and direction, but on the flip side, we're going to be going from film to film to film this year, and so it would make sense for the genre and the vibe to change map on map on map, in my opinion. So, leave your thoughts in the comments down below. What do you think the deal is here? I think that there's a chance that this is a zombies map, but it's more likely, in my opinion, to be multiplayer. But leave your thoughts in the comments down below. On the video as well, over there somewhere, one of the corners, there'll be a little poll that will pop up, and if you click on it, you can vote as to whether you think it's MP or zombies. But once you've done that, make sure to leave a comment as well, and guess the zombies map name with the clues that I already gave you, okay? That's an order. So, I've been Mr. Rothwaffles. If you've enjoyed this video, then leave a like. That's a thumbs up. Go ahead and do it. Lovely stuff. And I'll see you guys very soon in another Zombies video. Bye-bye. I really can't stay. Baby, there's fog rolling in. Played Revelations today, then put that map in the bin. It's just not that fun. And the story is bad. <laughs> oh no, what have I done? <laughs>